Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This reading, we're going to find out ancient wisdom within you. What kind of ancient wisdom do you have? Um, so we are going to channel some messages from your higher self. And we're going to use some tarot cards as well as uh, some oracle cards to discover your wisdom. Uh, this is going to be something more than just um, more than just current energies. This is something that is part of your nature. Um, why I want to do this reading is because many of us, I feel the collective energy, we're somehow um, kind of confused in the current situation. Uh, sometimes um, we don't know what to do. Uh, it's because we neglected the bigger picture. Um, so hopefully this reading can give us some insights, some inspirations, um, to know better about ourselves and um, at the same time hopefully this message can bring some solutions uh, or messages that you need to know for our current situation okay so we have three groups today before the reading starts i just want to let everyone know i don't do personal readings um, please read the disclaimer okay so the three groups are as here uh, first group is this big um, kind of a greenish, bluish stone. Okay, this is the first group. I'll look up the name. Um, second stone is this pink white pyramid. I think it's called rose stone or something as such. I'll make sure. I'll put the stone's name down below. Um, and many of you asked me what what's what's the name of the tarot decks. Um, I'll try to put down the names at the description box. So so if you want to know, you can check the description. Um, and the third stone is this tiger's eyeball. Okay, I'm not sure I can put it back. Be still. Okay, cool. So. Uh, I'm going to play the symbol three times. Meanwhile, you can meditate. You can ground your energies. Then follow your intuition. Close your eyes. When you open your eyes, follow your intuition and make your choice. Okay? Okay. So once you made your choice, I'll see you in your group. You can find correspondent timestamp below. Hi, group one. You haven't cho you have chosen this big stone. Um, this stone, the energy I'm feel feeling is very peaceful, very quiet, um, very warm as well. Um, so no matter how, I feel you have a really, uh, opening heart. Um, your heart chakra has very active energy. Um. Yes, you're very loving, you're very giving, you're very generous, and you are very tender. I feel this is um something of your nature. Um yeah, maybe you you I feel this group maybe you have strong cancer placements or Pisces placements, um or Taurus or Virgo. This is already I'm getting the energy from this stone. So let's see this card. Wow, five of wands. Okay, so immediately, immediately I'm getting for this group, the ancient wisdom within you is you can see both sides and you can remain peace and calm in a conflicting situation. Just as I was saying, for maybe for a lot of you, you, uh, you are very good at mediating. You're very good at, um, balancing different energies, seeing both sides, um, and you can see the bigger picture and you can take your own personal stand, not from a biased perspective. You're very, very objective. And also, I feel your energy is very calm, even though we have the five of wands here. But the message I'm getting here is you can remain balanced and you can see the solution and you can remain um, still during some uh, turbulence, during some turmoil, during some conflicts. So let's see more. 
Thank you, universe, for giving us the messages for the highest and greatest good of all. What is Group One's ancient wisdom? Okay, so we have yes, two of swords. Seeing both sides, I feel strong Libra as well for this group. You could have Gemini or Libra, or even Aquarius, but mainly I'm getting Libra. Yeah, two of swords. What else? Ten of wands. Okay. Okay, I'm going to talk about the three cards and then I'm going to continue to pull more. So bottom, we have Ten of Pentacles. You're very stable. I feel your energy is very stable. Mm, the Asian wisdom within you is you're a deep thinker. Um, yes, mainly I feel you are very considerate. Uh, for some of you, I feel you have, I just feel for a lot of you, you have strong compassion and you are very considering. You can consider both sides, pros and cons. And I feel the biggest virtue, I feel there's a virtue here is patience. You are very, very patient. Uh, you know that sometimes it's, it's about not rushing into anything. Especially when there's when you're in the middle of a storm, um, I feel you can still remain calm and not rushing into any decision making. Very patient, and your energy feel very feels very grounded as well. Um, yeah, seeing both sides. Maybe for a lot of you, I feel you can be very uh, humanitarian as well. Um, for a lot of you, I feel so. For example, I'm just giving you an exam example. If you see some news like a serial killer, um, um, like a very cruel personnel, I feel you won't judge this person as everybody else. You will ask the question, how did this person become the person of today? He, this person, he or she must have a very miserable story that maybe trauma that's um, act as something la that triggers this person to be who he or she is today. And you can see things, even though, uh, you can, I feel, even though this is an evil thing from, um, other people's perspective, but I feel you can see something good within this thing. So you are a very deep thinker and you're not, um, rushing into any decision making. When you make decisions, you will make sure that your decision is a balanced decision. Your decision won't harm any party. Your decision is, is a decision for the greatest and highest good of all, basically. Yes, you're very, um, wise in this way. With the Ten of Wands here, I feel you can handle pressure. Um, that's why I said your energy feels very grounded. I feel you can handle a lot of pressure within a conflict. You can remain calm. When everybody is panicking, you are not. You're still you. You can see beyond these conflicts. You won't be bothered. Um, however, for this group, I don't know why this message comes out as a reminder. Is that sometimes, sometimes you're too understanding that you listen to A and you listen to B and you listen to C and you listen to D and different opinions will kind of give you um, some kind of a difficulty when you make your own decisions because you want to make the decision for all parties, but somehow it kind of makes you incapable of actually making a decision because you want to take care and you want to take account of everybody's feelings, everybody's good result. So this could result in you not taking any step forward. You remain still. But we, but I feel your patience and your wist and your wisdom is very much appreciated by people who actually are around you. Let's see with more cards here. What else? 
is Group One's Ancient Eight Wisdom, the Chariot. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put this card here. Okay, I'm gonna pull one more card. Hmm. What is the ancient wisdom within group one? Thank you, universe. Yes, ten of swords. Okay. Okay, so actually, I get a lot of uh, Libra <laughs> and um, a lot of Libra and Gemini energy from these cards, and also Cancer, as I was talking about. So, bottom we have Eight of Swords. Yeah. So, you are a deep thinker. And for this group, I think you have I high IQ. Um, yes, you definitely is very smart. Is you definitely is very intelligent, very um, smart. Yeah, high IQ. This vibe I'm getting here. Um, I see after you make a decision, even though sometimes when it takes a long time for you to make a decision, but after you make a decision, you will do it. You will not hesitate you will make up your mind you will execute based on based on your decision you will go ahead no matter what but somehow i feel it's a long process and another message coming through your asian wisdom is something it you are like a i feel you have a very active air energy in your chart so a lot of times it's very easy for you to absorb information not energies not emotions but information you can get very important information sometimes even unconsciously maybe you overhear something maybe yeah something like this you're not paying attention but actually you you are paying attention without you actually noticing it and a lot of times you get i feel the it, it, when same situation occurs, when same circumstances shows up, um, if you, by facing a decision, if you are in front of the decision making compared with others, you will have much more information to think about. It's like you will have much more options. You know more than average people. This is a this is what I'm getting here. For example, um I feel this group you kind of give me the scientific scientist vibe. It's like you do your research very, very deep, very thorough. The same thing. Um if okay, so for example, if you go on a trip with uh your friends, um mainly they will they will research like what's good restaurants there what are um the side things to do um what are some you know special things we can see there but i feel you you will dig very deep into the 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 city or the destination you're about to uh, go you will look into the history of course you will look into like what's happening right now the news is there any crime um is there any you know uh, social events going on um, or is there any famous people related related to that place i mean relevant or not you will do a thorough thorough dis uh, research on the things you care about and so th by this i mean when you when you make decisions with your friends like where to go exactly within that destination you will have more information to tell um, everyone else, like, I think we should do this because, see, and everyone will be surprised, like, how, how can you know so much more? It's like the levels of knowledge are different. Yeah. This is what I'm getting here. So bottom we have Eight of Swords. Let me get a feeling of this. Still, I feel for a lot of you, um, sometimes this brings you anxiety because you take in count, uh, you take account too much information. Sometimes it feels like an explosion. So this chariot card is actually a balance of your energy. You can see the black and white. 
you can see the both sides. You can see the evil and the good within everything. But somehow you can still remain in justice. You can still remain in the middle. You can make very sound decision and you will move forward. So I feel this is the good side. Um, Not the good side. I feel this is the the other side of you that maybe you should ba use this side to balance your energy out. Um, definitely you are someone that people come to for advice, and you can be definitely you can definitely be a leader as well. Uh, I feel you can play different roles in uh, your community in in different groups. I feel sometimes you are happy being a leader. Sometimes you are happy being um the brain yeah being the brain behind the leader it works it both ways work really well for you and i feel another thing that needs to be mentioned here is that among any difficulty you will find a way out a lot because we have two tents here and we have a chariot and we have like a this card rep represents conflict and this card represents a uh, dilemma i feel you're someone that is so smart that you can always find a solution you're someone that just your problem solving skill is like genius a lot of times um, people, a lot of people don't know where to go, how to get out of a situation, but you just have the, this kind of like channeling wisdom to see the way out. You will always find a way out among any kind of difficulty, challenging situations. This is what I'm hearing as well. You are very good at solving problems and you are very good at responding very quickly when needed because sometimes probably you need a long time to you know consider every option but i feel if needed you will respond very quickly with a very um sharp in uh intuition decision making to solve any kind of problem um yeah so always you will find a way out okay so what else for group one let me get a card. What else for group one? Thank you, universe. What is the ancient wisdom of group one? Tenth house. I feel you can be a leader. I feel this you don't know, actually. For a lot of you, um, maybe you are still not um confident confident enough or you don't think you are experienced enough or mature enough to be a leader but actually i feel part of your soul's mission part of your destiny is to be a leader to put yourself out there because people need your wisdom people need your guidance you are someone that could lead people um help them getting out of any difficulty yeah especially among uh among um during some kind of war or among some kind of uh conflicts i feel you could definitely be a leader but this quality uh, a lot of you i don't know why i feel you are rejecting this but th maybe this reading comes to tell you that you should face you should face um the truth that you can be a very good leader here what else? What else for group one? Okay, universe. Um, what else? Okay. Yes, rain, purification. Um, yes, and I feel you could handle pressure very well. This is what I'm getting with uh, the two tens card. I feel you're someone who can handle pressure very well. And you can always, always find a new solution to have a new beginning. And to end something old and to start something new. You can always survive. You can always transform. Um, 
and you can always heal as well. This is a kind of healing as well. We have actually three tens. It tells me that you're someone that is very good with problem solving. So it's like you're transforming a challenging solution. Sorry, transforming a challenging um, situation into something new, into a new beginning um, of something that has a large potential here. And your energy doesn't feel aggressive at all. Uh, you know, some leaders, they have different leadership style but i feel your leadership style isn't to push everyone else isn't to be aggressive your leadership style is actually very um healing even with the rain purification i feel you don't want to um, push any other people um i feel you are just you know like your energy feels very understanding people will trust you people will listen to you um people will know that you actually, you are very considerate. You are not someone that lacks compassion. Um, you actually understand their, you understand their situation. You understand the difficulties they're facing with. Yeah, I feel this is a very calm. And people, when people, especially people in difficulty, they will find your energy very calming and very healing. What else for group one? What else for group one? Oops, too many cards wants to come out. <laughs> um, okay. What is the Asian wisdom within group one? Yes, water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. As I was saying, I feel, even, yes, tenderness is something that it, that keeps coming out. Um, I feel your energy. We, we have a lot of water elements here, so I'm not surprised if you have what strong water placements, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, especially what I'm he uh, hearing is Cancer. cancer. Mm. So I feel... Mm, you have a tenderness, but this tenderness is your energy, but still it's not only uh, coming from, you know, I feel you're very good balanced with int intelligence and emotions. So we can feel a lot of times people can comfort us, people can console us, but I feel you are the one who not only can provide this emotional support, but you can also provide actual solutions. So this is what makes you so unique. You are warm. At the same time, you are very wise and intelligent. You can give people emotional healing as well as grounded, practical solutions. And I feel this card is talking about to take care of yourself because, like I was saying, I feel you can get a lot of information, absorb a lot of information unconsciously. Um, so a lot of times maybe you um suffer from anxiety. Um, and at this moment, I feel this and two energies is talking about that sometimes you need to cleanse your energy sometimes you need to nourish yourself you need to take care of yourself to make sure that you are not uh, overburdened with other people's problem with other people's information with other people's anxiety so this is maybe um a lesson of boundary for you healthy boundaries um, but i feel you sometimes need to direct this healing energy towards yourself as well um, otherwise I don't see, you know, too much you need to worry about. Um, so take care of your body and balance, balance your energies. Um, yeah, this card also, I feel is talking about how to better take care of yourself. Okay. So this is the message for group one. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, uh, so this is the reading for you today. I hope you find it helpful and uh, take care of yourself. I will see you next time. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. Before I even open your card, I just feel love. I don't know if it has something to do with this pink color, but I feel you're definitely something 
Oh, sorry. You're definitely. You actually, you definitely have something romantic inside of you, something poetic, something artistic, something very idealistic, which is exactly what we need in this world right now.、Uh, your dream never dies. This is what I'm hearing. Your dream never dies. Um, I feel among among um all these chaotic world. Um, among all these chaos in the world right now, you can still have a very beautiful dream that cannot be taken by anything. So you're definitely someone very romantic, um, poetic, yeah, artistic, creative, naive sometimes, naive in a very good way, innocent, um, loving. You definitely have a lot of love. Um, childlike. Okay, so let's see your card. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I feel with with this Seven of Swords, the universe is protecting you in some way. I don't know why, but I'll pull cards for you. The energies I'm getting here is a lot of times you encountered a lot of circumstances, and you think a lot of things are blocking your path. But actually, and what I'm hearing is whatever that happens, whatever that happened, is actually for your own protection because your energy, to be honest, feels very fragile. With this Seven of Swords, I don't know. I feel the universe is secret, secretly protecting. You protecting your energy and protecting this kind of a innocence, very fragile and very childlike thing you have. Let's see. Your message is kind of special. Okay, Ace of Wands. Yes, never dying dream. The spirit. I actually feel. I don't know. I feel group two. You have a very special mission here on Earth. It it feels like you don't. I f- it feels like your spirit or your soul or, yeah, your soul doesn't come from Earth. You incarnate. Maybe this is your first incarnation on Earth. I just feel you come from. You came from a higher realm. Probably you feel alienated by the world. You feel you feel alienated. You doesn't resonate with people around you because you are so special. You are so different, and your frequencies, your、uh, vibrations operate on another. Different level, so a lot of times you will feel lonely with the Seven of Swords. I just feel this is actually, yes. Now I know. So this is actually how the universe is protecting you. A lot of time you push people away, or situations push people away, or you encounter some kind of circumstances. Like for example, you are fired, uh, you lost a job, something that. Happen to you actually is for your own protection. This is a very very special message here, because I feel you have some special guides, um, that are not energies from Earth protecting you. You are looked after by a very very high vibrational and high vibrational energies here. Um, you're actually I. I even want to say you're protected by alien. Um. Yeah, you're. By this, I mean you're protected by high higher realms beings. Um, they. I feel they are protected. Yeah, with this pyramid, pyramid as well. I feel you're, because you have something very fragile and valuable within you. So if you overexpose yourself, the law of vibrations will attack. Yeah, this is what I feel. So a lot of times you encounter like, uh, somebody break up with you. You are fired. You are, um, you lost an apartment, or you you lost you missed a flight. Things accident seems like unfair. Things things seems like accidents. Things happen to you. I feel it's actually for your protection. It's very 
well calculated from the divine, from the source, or from uh, your guides to protect this valuable thing you have. Because it's a very fragile energy. It doesn't operate uh, with the very grounded energy on Earth here. So it's better to hide it sometimes to protect it. What else? What is... Um, yes, the will. I feel you know the truth. You know you have a destiny. I feel, to be honest, group two, you are here for a higher mission. Maybe you won't incarnate on Earth after this lifetime because you are here for a very very special mission here maybe i'll do another reading about what's your soul's mission but here i feel group two you know you have a special mission here with the wheel you are here to change the world somehow you are here to elevate the collective energies you're here to ele elevate the collective um frequencies here on this earth at this particular time with the will, you're sent by a very higher being, by very higher beings here to do some cleansing or to bring something into the earth, like uh, promises, to bring something to human, to bring something to humanity. Maybe you're here to teach. Maybe a lot of you, you're into spirituality, you're into higher education, you're into esoteric, you're into religion because somehow you know you have something to to inspire the world. Somehow you know you have something to teach people here. Eight of, cu Eight of Cups. Yeah. I definitely feel for group two, you know you have a very, very important mission here. But, but what I hear is if you don't have, if you don't, land on this passion if you don't uh, locate on what exactly is your passion what is what exactly is your way of channeling this you will feel lost with the seven of swords because i feel your potential is much bigger than you know right now you have much much more that is hidden within you that is locked and what you need to do is to unlock your talent because definitely you have strong talent group two this i can tell you um different people have different kind of um forms to present that talent but at core it's the same is to heal is to elevate is to inspire, is to enlighten, is to empower. What is the hidden wisdom for group two? What is the ancient hidden wisdom within group two? Yes, some, some, I feel a lot of you, it's about writing here. Um, we have page of cups. As I was saying, you're definitely um, a mess messenger sent from heaven or sent from the universe sent from god sent from higher beings you're definitely a messenger here you're definitely meant to create something to present to the world to wake people up with this writing i'm getting for a lot of you for a lot of you it could be literally writing it could be songwriting as well it could be drawing very artistic endeavors very artistic crafts here uh, a lot of you, your artists are choosing this group. So this message comes out to let you know behind you wanting to be an artist, there's a bigger mission here for you, actually. What is the Asian wisdom? Four of Cups. You see, like a mess messenger. I feel you are here to bring something new to the world. You are here to break some rules. You are here to introduce some new rules. You are here to even change the game. You are definitely game changer. So I feel you're visionaries. Definitely group two, you're visionaries. You can see far beyond. You can see far ahead of our current time. You definitely have some visions that you need to put it on paper or you need to put it out in your art form, you need to present it to the world. And this will change the world because what we're going through right now is a deep cleansing. With all this happening, I feel our, it's not I feel, it's true that our earth is experiencing a deep cleansing. 
um, game changing vibrations here. So a lot of dramatic things happen, and I feel you definitely play a deep part of role in this, a very important part of role in this. You are like this bird with a messenger message message here. You are definitely a messenger. Your angel, your frequencies feel angelic. You are here to change the world. You are here to make a difference. But you need to do this carefully. Yeah. Yes, the hierophants. Exactly. This is what I'm getting here. You are spiritual guide. You are spiritual teacher. You are sent by God, by universe. You are here to inspire people. You are here to bring higher knowledge. But with the seven of swords here, I think I think you should take things step by step. Not saying not saying that you should take things slow, but I feel you need a lot of um, strategy and you need a lot of plans and you need to plan things out because I feel your energy might be scattered at the moment with the seven of swords here. So it's only temporary, or you feel blocked some way, but. I feel the information coming through is the universe is actually protecting you. The universe is actually orchestrating everything on divine timing for you. You don't have to rush into anything. And when you feel blocked or when you feel something accidental happen to you, you should know that this is actually to protect you, to protect, to protect you yourself and to protect what you have within you. But definitely, if you want to do something, I feel you have a big mission here. Yourself, you yourself, you have a big project here. Whatever you want to do, you need to do this low key. You need to do this with patience, with strategies, with plans. What else? Um, what is the ancient wisdom? For group two, waxing crescent moon. Hmm. Very intuitive as well. I feel your energy is very uh flexible. Um I forgot to mention the signs, so I'm seeing here strong fire signs here. Aquarius as well. With the Jupiter energy, you could have Pisces, Cancer, and um Sagittarius. Um yeah, Cancer, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Fire Sign, all fire signs. Yeah, maybe your lack of um, earth signs in your chart. You know, some people, they don't have earth earth signs in their chart. Maybe you don't have, I mean, um, personal planets, not like, not like uh, Neptune or Pluto or um, Uranus. I'm talking about from your sun sign, from your ascendant, sun sign, moon sign, till saturn sometimes saturn is considered not a personal planet but anyway i feel maybe you lack of earth's energies maybe you don't have virgo capricorn or um taurus this is what i feel for some of you not all of you this is what i feel for some of you so so your energy is very flexible your energy is very angelic is higher you operate on a higher vibration here so with the waxing crescent moon You know what? I'm I'm not getting this card is talking about your Asian wisdom because we said it already. I feel this card is a reminder that something didn't work out. Yeah. Maybe you you know something didn't work out. But this thing is meant to work out, but the way you're doing it might be wrong. So there's a better way to do this thing. I feel it's your <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel it's your artistic practice. Maybe you need to try another way with the waxing crescent moon here. Maybe you shouldn't do this thing so mechanic so me mechanically. Yeah. I feel whatever this is a channel me channeling message here. So I feel whatever you do group 2 even though it's not artistic. It you might be a research, you might work in big corporations, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, you should follow your heart and let your intuition and emotion guide you. You shouldn't... I feel your energy sh shouldn't be put into labels or boxes. You shouldn't operate on a schedule. You should follow your own pace. 
you should let your own rhythm guide you because I feel you have an inner rhythm. For example, if you're a songwriter, if you cannot write something, then don't push yourself to write like. Sometimes you, maybe you have plans like today I have to write a song I have to write a song tomorrow I have to write the lyrics uh the day after tomorrow I have to work on my keyboards I'm just giving you an exam example I actually feel this way doesn't work something that you know is yours but it might doesn't work that well. You need to find a very flexible, flexible way that is it that feels comfortable to your emotions, because I feel you have a lot of emotions. Otherwise, you will feel stagnant here. Yeah. So let's pull another card for you. Um, group two. What is your hidden wisdom? Okay, what is your hidden wisdom? As I was saying, I feel you can see things, you can foresee things. Maybe some of you, you can predict things. So you become very suspicious or you believe in some kind of conspiracy. But the message, message I'm getting here, all you see is true. But we're living in a parallel universe. Not every possibility is going to be the reality you're living in. So you don't have to worry too much. All the visions might be true in higher realm. But it not might manifest in 3D world. So a lot of times you shouldn't be too anxious about all the things you see. I mean, it's possible to happen, but it doesn't have to happen. All the things that manifested in our 3D world is... Uh, I feel this is quantum physics theory. Uh, it's a collapse of possibilities. All the possibilities are true. But in our 3D world, because we live in three-dimensional world, it's only a collapse. So all and everything falls down on one reality. But it doesn't mean that other reality doesn't exist. But anyway, I do <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into this. And anyway, for a lot of you, I feel sometimes you overthink too much. All the visions you have, you can channel it out. By your artistic talents. You don't have to worry about it. You can write your worry down. You can channel it. You can channel your worry. You can channel your vision. You can channel something bothers you into songs, into writings, into drawings. This is a message I'm getting here. So what else is the ancient wisdom within group two? Vision quest. You are definitely visionary. Group two, and I feel a lot of times you have this lonely energy, and maybe you'll find it really hard to resonate with your families, with your previous friends. It's because you're meant to have this path. Maybe right now, what you're going through is that you have to be alone to figure out fundamental questions of your life. And after you figure out these questions, I don't know, it has something to do with your. Artist, artistic practice or any kind of creative project it has something to do with your soul mission you need to if you if you find it really if you find yourself lonely knowing that you're talk you're actually not lonely because you're talking with the universe and you're definitely visionary maybe sometimes without you realize it without you realizing it you are pushing people away because you need this loneliness to have this vision quest yeah what else for group two i feel you're chosen this is what i'm hearing you're chosen you're chosen so you know what it means to you so what else for group two what is the hidden wisdom for group two 
Yes. Will and Oracle Elders. A lot of you, it has something to do with your throat chakra. Writing, singing, um, public speaking, uh, any kind of, um, uh, creative practice. Yes. Writing, singing something with your voice or something with your words. You're here to channel some very important message, messages here. Share your sound, frequency of sound, diving deep. So a lot of you, I feel maybe, yeah, a lot of you, you're not Earth's energies. You come from a higher uh, realm and your uh, um, angelic energy brings messages to this world. You definitely have something to share with the world, with your sound, with anything you put out there you will know what it is you have a talent here this is a confirmation listen to your heart what does your heart want to say what is your message you're here to bring a message group to this i can tell you you are here to bring a message you definitely have a message a very important message that you, you need to share with the world. What is that message? Find that. Yeah. Okay, so this is a reading for group two. Very, very interesting. I hope it helps you. I hope you find it very inspiring, helpful. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care, group two. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. I just want to say I love your energies. With this tiger's eye, oh my god, um, alpha and alpha energy here. You're meant to be successful. You're meant to be wealthy. You're meant to be abundant because you are very, very confident. You're a born leader. Don't doubt yourself, okay? Don't doubt yourself. This is what I'm hearing. So let's see your card. Let's see. Can I? Okay. Yes, it's a pentacles. What did I say? You're meant to experience huge wealth. I mean, in 3D world, you're meant to have luxury lifestyle, big house, nice cars. Um, you're meant to use your wealth to help people. You're meant to be people who, you're meant to be those people we see on news. You're meant to be wealthy. You're meant to be successful. A lot of you, you're entrepreneurs. You're meant to create your own empire. You're meant to have your own business. I don't feel you're going to be a very good employer because I don't know why for group three. I feel you know you're a born leader. You're very, very strong. Your, your, your energy is your, you have very strong willpower. I feel this, your alpha energy here. No, this is not gender specific, even though you can be very female, very feminine from outside. But deep down, you know, you're meant to have um, this very strong, this very successful story. Maybe you're one of those people who are successful and then write a book about themselves, how they become this self-made people. This is you, group three. You have a very strong connection with wealth, with money, because it's energy. Um, you could have life path number one or life path number eight. This is what I'm hearing. Maybe you you have one uh, in your birthday, you know. Um, but definitely, you're very independent as well. Yeah, you're definitely self-made. And you are here. I feel this is... This Asian wisdom is your connection with money because it's money has something to do with a uh, second house and eight house. But I definitely feel you could have strong <clears throat> eight house. I don't know why. Maybe you have Scorpio very strong in your chart or Pluto have a lot of aspects with your other planets. I just feel you're someone that transforms. You're someone that survives and you're someone who can create an empire create a build a castle from zero from nothing you are this strong let's see the cards let's put more cards yes this one wants to come up nine of swords okay i'll talk about this later um put it here what is the ancient wisdom in group three thank you universe thank you universe what is ancient wisdom 
two, three, a lot. That's why I have difficulty pulling cards. I feel a lot. You have everything. Yes, Queen of Swords. This is what I'm getting here. You have everything. You have a loving heart. You have a very good brain. You have strong determination. You have strong taking action. You just you're you're not someone who just think. You're someone who do things. Um, you're like a genius with actual actions. You're like Elon Musk and Steve Jobs. You're a genius with ideas, but you're a genius with strong execution. You don't wait. You take action. That's why you can become wealthy. You can become successful. You're not someone that wait things to happen to you. You're someone who make their own opportunities. You're those people who are not only huge, very, very smart, but very, very di diligent and hardworking. Some of you, I feel you could be workaholics here. What is the ancient wisdom within group? Yes, King of Wands. We have two court cards already. King of Wands and queen of swords that's what i'm talking about leadership and definitely definitely alpha energy and i'll say okay i i'll say now before i forget this you're meant to create something with your counterpart here group through your group <laughs> group three you're gonna your relationship definitely is a power couple dynamic okay forget about the easy love you're up your love is tough love but your love is Counterpart love, power couple love, Jay Z and Beyonce. Um, who else? Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. People like this. You you need to have a strong partner to build something with you. Group three. You're not too. Yeah. Mm, you need uh, you need a team player. You you need a team. You need your best buddy. You need your best friend as your life partner. Your life partner is your business partner. This is what I can tell you. It's 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 meant to be like this. Uh, if you're feminine, then you're this queen of swords. You're masculine, then you're this king of wands. If you're feminine, you're going to have your king of wands. You're masculine, you're going to have your queen of swords. And actually, swords is air energy. Wands is fire energy. And... They become they they to, to how to oh I can't even talk for group three. They belong to the same category. Air and fire together is so powerful, but still you have this eight of uh, ace of pentacle here to ground things. So I mean together here I already see together you're gonna create a world. With your life partner slash business partner. This is your future spouse. Yes, strength. What did I say? Strength. This is exactly what I'm feeling here. Bottom, we have Ten of Swords. Okay. So the signs I'm seeing here. Before I pull out any more cards. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because we have two swords here. Uh, Aquarius. Yeah, especially I feel if you're feminine, you can be Aquarius or Libra, but um, Gemini as well. And here I see Leo, strong Leo, very, very strong Leo. If it's a fire sign you have, then it's Leo. And I feel if you are feminine, you're meant to be with someone who have fire, strong fire energies in in his or her chart. Your life partner, your business partner has a strong fire energies here. And I think you are as well. Maybe you have Leo. You have strong Leo as well. But anyway, I feel there's a very beautiful balance of air energy and fire energy between you and your life partner. Maybe you have earth placements as well. Maybe this per person have has earth placements as well. But here I'm seeing the ancient wisdom is that you are royal. In ancient time, you're already a royal figure. Probably you know this. Something about you, you always know you are, you, you like expensive things. You like luxury. 
anything. It's like when you go shopping, anything you 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 lay your eyes on has a high price. You don't even notice that before before you checking out the price. And probably you just think, oh, this is beautiful compared with other things, and then you check the price. Maybe this is. What, this is the most expensive item among all the choices here. You definitely give other people the vibes that you are royal somehow. You're expensive. You live in a luxury lifestyle. You're not some just ordinary people. And this is a confirmation that probably you are a royal. You have royal blood. Or... um. Yeah, I just feel your energy feels very royal and you are here to you're here to claim you're here to claim this royal energy. The ancient wisdom within you I feel is to you know claim your power, claim your throne. A lot of times we think royal they just inherited their, you know, status, their wealth. But who gave them this? It's their ancestors. It's their first generation. Royal isn't born royal. Royal is self-made as well. We think for royal everything is easy. It's not true. They have their own troubles. They have their problems. And a lot of times we see in a lot of movies and TV series, throne can be taken or a kingdom can be destroyed. The true royals, they claim their power or they know they will become royal. So they, so they build this empire. They become the first royalty of their bloodline. This is what I see for you, group three. So you definitely, the ancient wisdom within you is the ability to build yourself a royal, a true royal. You have the strength, you have the wisdom, you have the willpower, and you have the uh, the physical body. I feel your body is very strong as well for this group. You're meant to have healthy and strong body. Whether you're feminine or masculine, I feel you're meant to have a very healthy and strong body. Because this is who you are. You're meant to be strong. Physically, mentally, spiritually. In every way. And I, I feel you're here to... You're here to lead people. You're here to build your own empire. You're here to be emperor, empress, queen, kings. Um, and I, I feel you're here to achieve everything you set your mind to. Not something in particular here. I'm not seeing something particular, but I'm seeing it's like the cards are screaming that group three, if you're not wealthy, you're not doing the right things. You're not living your life because you're meant to be wealthy. If you are not, then you need to ask yourself questions. Why am I not where I supposed to be? Because I see you. I see you living in the high, high life. But it takes time. But it take, definitely it takes time with the strength card. It takes time. It takes patience. Sometimes you need to wait for the right moment. But it's yours. Success is yours. You have everything to build this success. You have every element here. The only ad element missing here is water. But... So it might imply that sometimes you are too harsh. Um, because I see you're someone who can make decisions based on logic. You're you can you you are not someone who will be persuaded by other people, who will be cheated by other people, who will be lied by other people. I see you have strong, strong goals in your heart. I see you achieving every every goal you set to yourself. I see you checking every box, every list every items on your to-do list i see you make every decision a right decision what's best for me what's best for my interest what best what's best for my situation i see you're not swayed by emotions yeah you're definitely not someone who will only focus on uh love 
romance uh, that too much that you forget that actually you have a, a life to live. You're definitely someone who always put your career development, your success, your wealth in priority here. Um, and I see, I see if you are not stepping into this energy, this is a reading that reminds you this is who you're supposed to be. This is how you're supposed to make your decisions and live your life. You should make decisions based on your success, not based on anything. If a connection is bothering you, it's not the right connection. If a connection blocks your success, make you anxious, make you anxious, scatter, make you scatter your energy, drains you or gives you a lot of anxiety or, you know, put you on limbo, on stagnation that you cannot move forward. This reading is telling you this is not your divine counterpart because with your divine counterpart, you are supposed to do stuff. With the true counterpart, your life partner, your business partner, you are supposed to achieve things. You are not someone that, you know, that only lives in fantasies of romance. You're not someone who lives in chick flick. This is not you. For some of you, I feel you could be suffering from uh, a connection or some person or something that uh something that drains you because this is this is a with the ace of pentacles in the middle we have an energy here we have an energy here and the energy of queen of swords here right now i feel for you if you're feminine watching this for a lot of you you're living in anxiety right now why you're not doing your the you're not doing the right thing and your king of wands is not the person on your mind. Is not the person who gives you this knight of swords. Is not the person who drains you, who gives you anxiety, who keep you guessing, who keep you waiting, who keep you in limbo, who keep you checking how are they feeling by watching all these YouTube videos, readings. This is not that person. Your true person is waiting for you. Your true person who is a true leader. Your true person is your match but you have to step into your own power your true person will never give you anxiety will never keep you wait waiting will never give you ambiguity will never never keep you guessing and waiting and not knowing what they do your true person is is strong direct powerful yeah i don't know who it's for but this message, I need to put it out there. With the Ace of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles, you're meant to build a business, a life together with your true divine counterpart. Yeah, I feel what they are doing right now is. Um, for some of you, you already met this person. For a lot of you, I feel you haven't met this person. I don't know why I want to read ancient wisdom within you, but this reading comes out talking about the most important relationship in your life. Your the relationship you have with a future spouse, the relationship with your life partner. For a lot of you, I think you haven't met this person with the Ace of Pentacles. You will meet this person through work. You will meet this person through your career. You will meet your right person, your true person, through your passion, through what you want to do you will build a life together you will build a business together and this person right now is growing themselves is empowering themselves is maturing and the divine timing will bring you two together with the knight of swords you have to let go of some anxiety here you have to let go of an old chapter an old person don't think about the past person it's not it's not for you Okay. And another thing I have to mention here, the ancient wisdom within you is you can, you're very, 
You're very good with business. You're very good with money. It's like you're born business savvy. It's like you can make the most profit from the least capital you have. Your decision making is very business driven. It's very business savvy. It's like this. This is this is a born talent. Yeah, um. But somehow I feel. Your heart, your love, somehow needs some healing, but I don't feel you have to worry about this because this divine counterpart, this life partner, will come into your life and will heal you with the strength card. Because right now I feel no cups here, so maybe your emotions feel blocked because you are or you were in a wrong connection that somehow affected your energy, and maybe this is a reminder that you shouldn't be too harsh on yourself. You should, you know, um, heal your heart chakra. This is what I'm hearing. You should give this love to yourself to heal yourself. This will help you better. Uh, this will help you, yeah, better to make this success, success happen. What else? I talked a lot for group three because I feel your energy. Um, what else for group three? Er, Iris. Iris. I was, I was saying, you could have Iris in your chart. This divine counterpart of you could have Iris in, in their chart as well. But anyway, you're meant to be successful. Your goal-oriented, your goal-oriented person. You're definitely goal-oriented. Okay, so if anyone makes you step out of this energy, it's not the right person. You're meant to be this sharp. If you want to get something, you do, you take action, then you claim it. It's yours. This is supposed to be you. Okay, you're a fighter. You're definitely a warrior, a fighter, a royal, a king, a queen, a general. Yeah. You definitely have a very, very strong spirit that never say no, never give up, never surrender. Always rise up. What else? What is the ancient wisdom within group three? Thank you. Okay. Yes, dance celebration. I feel um, happy things are waiting for you. This energy, I feel you're very charming as well. Um, you're definitely someone who has a lot of sex, sexual appeal. Yeah. Uh, you have a lot of sexual energy waiting you to, waiting to come out. Um, yeah, with the dance celebration, the, the message I'm getting here, because we have Ace of Pentacles, you will have a new beginning in life, in business, in your career, in love life, in life in general. And you will dance, you will celebrate. And what's more is, maybe you forgot how charming you are. Maybe you forget how attractive, how sexy you are. Because of whatever that gives you anxiety, Nine of Swords energy. Maybe you already forget how beautiful you are. You need to be in this um, celebration energy to embrace yourself, to remind of, of to remind yourself who you are. A lot of fire energies. You're very charming. You're not only just about the brains. You're not only just about hard truths, logic. But you're someone that ha that is very passionate. You have this raw, um, raw passion, raw life energy within you that has a huge, powerful Im impact on people. You don't even know. You walk into a room, people will pay attention to you. You are the star. You definitely have that quality. You don't have to do anything. Just be you. You will tr attract people's attention. And yeah, you will just attract people's attention and affection. Yeah. What else? What do group three need to know about their wisdom, about their life? Okay. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Yes, you're definitely, definitely about to have a new start. 
of your life. Bottom we had. Yes, portal. Yeah, you see? Two portals, two doors here. You definitely are going to step into something new. Be ready. Be prepared. Group three. I feel your life is going to restart. Probably, maybe you have gone through a lot. Your life is going to begin again. Restart. You're about to witness something that is so beautiful. You will leave everything behind. Major things, powerful things are going to happen to you. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Um, you get similar with group two. You're similar with every pile of today. You're the chosen one, but I feel your talent is to lead people, is to gather people together, is to be this leader, strong leadership. So you, you need to embrace this energy within you because it's rare. And also, I feel you have a, even though how mature you can look from outside, there's always something very innocent and childlike within you that never dies. This passion never dies. This eager never dies. This life force, this driven desire never dies. This is, yeah, I feel a lot of red colors here, a lot of um warm warm um hot energies hotness from your energies i feel you should keep this warmth never let this warm die never let your passion die okay so this is your message group three it's definitely it's definitely very powerful i hope you like it i hope you find it very helpful um yeah so if you like this video like share subscribe i will see you next time take care bye